So friends, here we have the Merakai from 361. Um, it is a brand new shoe that's come out very, very recently, and I'm going to talk to you about it today. So, break it down to three different segments. We've got the upper. The upper on the Merakai is nice and narrow fitting through that forefoot. Um, we have breathability holes everywhere, so really cool, allowing that foot to breathe properly. So not going to get everything too hot in there, as long as you couple it with a good running sock. In terms of the midfoot, really nice hold through there. In terms of you can see the engineered bits of material and heat welded areas added there to give some extra support. And then through the rear foot, we've got a really nice heel cup design here where we're nice and high through the back of the Achilles to give you nice hold there. But then the cut out through the ankle joints is actually a lot lower. So it means that you're not getting any aggravation from those ankle bones. We then come to the midsole, so 361 have used this stuff called quick foam, which you can see there. Um, quick foam is basically a firmer form of EVA, so that's a material that's in all running shoes. Um, this EVA, yes, will take a bit more breaking in than a normal shoe, so for me, after about 20k of running in it, I actually started to feel it felt great. Yes, I'm not going to lie to you, there were some breaking in issues, but that's what you get with a firmer shoe. It means now, whenever I run it, it feels great, it feels really responsive and ultimately a shoe that I want to continue running in. In terms of the outsole, you can see from here, different coloured materials, different kind of uh, construction through that midfoot as well. That is basically a really stiff plate that runs through the inside of the shoe there. So adds with that kind of responsiveness of it, but also, yes, it does add a little bit of weight. Now, I'm not saying the shoe's heavy, but I'd liken it to the weight of a Nimbus from Asics or the Glycerin from Brooks. So it's not super heavy, it just means it's got a little bit more you know, to it. Last thing on the outsole as well is that there's different kind of lugs as you come down through the outsole on the lateral side and a little bit more reinforcement on the heel on the lateral side too, because that's where we kind of like to put most of our forces as we drive the ground. So yeah, the Merakai from 361. For longer distances I would suggest, your half marathons, your full marathons, your ultras, for those wanting to be a little bit nippier, possibly not the kind of 5k shoe or anything like that, but a shoe I really think you can trust in and, and should get very minimal issues from.